Hey everybody, Autobot John here, and I just want to show you two of my latest works uh, that I finally finished and got them the way I want them. First off, these are from these are my 12-inch Star Trek to the Wrath of Khan figures. Um, Captain Kirk and Spock. Uh, McCoy has not been fully completed yet, so I'm not going to show him. But here's Spock. I love these uniforms. Um, pretty much gave him bendable hands. Um, not like they fight much or anything, but I thought it'd be cool to pose Spock with his little Vulcan sign. Um, the Vulcan death grip, I guess what you call it. Live long and prosper. Um, I'm very proud of Spock. And then, of course, here is my custom Admiral James T. Kirk, because in Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, Kirk was still an, had was still an admiral, had not been demoted back to captain. In fact, I don't think that happened until the end of Star Trek Three, or maybe the beginning. I don't remember, but he's been resculpted completely, repainted to look more like William Shatner. The hair's totally different on him. Um, it's darker because he had darker hair back then. Uh, he's been given a different expression. Uh, it just looks, to me, it looks more like William Shatner. And then the cool thing is with this one, you can actually take his lapel and you can pull it to the side. I haven't found a way to keep it there yet, but I might actually try to super glue it like that just to be different. Um, but it's, it's pretty awesome that way. Uh, he's got bendy hands too. And then the uh, really cool thing is he's got his captain's chair. I know it's not movie accurate, but it's as close as I could make. So I'm very proud of it. And here's what I was trying to show. This is the original figure from Star Trek II, the Raphicon from Playmates. This is what Kirk's head originally looks, looks like with that figure. This is what Kirk's the head on the Kirk figure looks like the 12 inch Playmates figure so that's that come on stand up <sighs> I hate Playmates alright so that's that head here's my head You tell me which one you think looks like Kirk. Um, he's very posable. He is very posable. Kirk can, uh, I can, you can put Kirk in a lot of positions, but I still say my favorite one of Captain Kirk is, of course, to put him, or I'm sorry, Admiral Kirk, is to put him in his chair. Um, I wish that I had Khan or a, some way to make Khan, but as far as I know, they did not make Khan, a 12-inch Khan. And uh, very rare, people don't make Star Trek figures. Uh, Star Wars figures, people make. Star Trek, it's, it's kind of hard. I guess maybe they're not into it, but I, honestly, I think Star Trek's awesome. The new one from the new, you know, the remake of it that they just did is awesome. But there will only be one James T. Kirk, and, and, and the, this is him. William Shatner will always be James T. Kirk. No one will ever fill that role as good as him. Um, maybe I'm being biased, but that's my opinion. But uh, there he is in his captain's chair. Um, just to show the chair, it's got like little knobs on it, little switches, stickers, uh, the little turning thing, stickers. It's made of real leather and cardboard. This chair, I made this chair like two years ago. Um, I've just never shown it. 
Um, I've seen guys on Sideshow Collectibles that has actually, or I'm sorry, Sideshow Freaks that have made an actual replica chair from the Wrath of Khan. And one day when I can afford it, I may actually get them to make me one for my James T. Kirk figure. Uh, or, yeah, Admiral Kirk. But uh, I'm very happy with the way this figure turned out. He's one of many to come. Uh, Spock and Kirk are finished, finally. I hope to build the entire bridge of the Enterprise um, when I build the little pieces. And just to show everybody, not Superman. <laughs> I knew somebody was going to say that eventually, so I went ahead and beat you to it. But just to show everybody that here is Dr. McCoy, but I have not finished painting him. I want to go back and repaint him. He's been re-sculpted. Uh, he's missing a hand because I'm out of bendy hands right now. And I don't have any black boots to go and put on him like I did the others, which these are just Hasbro Star Wars uh, boots because they look just like the ones from Star Trek. Um, so, and when you pull the pants all the way down, it, they, they, you can't really tell the difference anyway. So, uh, But Dr. McCoy will be coming. And then eventually down the road, I've got Scotty planned and Lahura, Chekhov, Sulu. So everybody from the Rafa Khan is going to be made. I'm going to find a way to make Khan. That's a promise. And Sally, or Savick, or whatever her name was, Christy uh, Alley, I'm going to make her character too. Um, it's going to be really awesome. Star Trek II, the Rafa Khan was my favorite of the Star Treks. So, it just makes sense to actually make a figure based from the Wrath of Khan. But, you got to have Khan, because if you got Kirk, you need Khan, right? So anyway, leave me feedback, guys. Let me know what you think. Later.